Ukrainian president Volodymyr Zelensky was in Washington D.C. appealing directly to the United States Congress, both the Democrats and the Republicans, about <coughs> long-term U.S. support. And of course, this was Zelensky's first foreign trip since Russia's invasion saying aid was not charity and had helped keep his country alive and kicking. French 24 English News reports about what the Ukrainians are saying about uh, Vladimir Glensky's uh, visit to the U.S. Let's cross live to Kiev and uh, Andrew Hellier. Andrew, reactions where you are? Yeah, I mean, Ukrainians are uh, obviously uh, following very closely uh, events in Washington. That's because they know that what happens in Washington, D.C. will have huge consequences on the war here in Ukraine and also on their daily lives. So uh, earlier today, we were out in the streets of Kiev to get people's uh, reaction to President Zelensky's uh, speech to Congress. Uh, take a listen to what they told us. Because it was... In my opinion, very powerful speech, and uh, he speaks like a person, not like a president. And I think he speaks from all Ukrainians. He translates just exactly what do we think. Uh, over the last days, we have light supply and water supply for just a couple hours per day. And definitely we believe that uh, those missiles could be a game changer. The only problem is that we need much more because Ukraine is a big country. I mean, one of the things that uh, everyone's talking about here is that delivery of Patriot missiles. And it's easy to see why. It's because people here in Kyiv think that that could be a game changer. It's very reassuring uh, for people living here in the Ukrainian capital to hear that, they, that there's going to be a delivery of, you know, uh, what is arguably the world's most sophisticated air defense system because they've now grown warily used to living through air raid sirens pretty much every day. So very reassuring news for the people here. Uh, reassuring, uh, we'll, we'll see in a moment with uh, Frank Ledwich uh, uh, what one battery of Patriot missiles can do. A Andrew, in the meantime, and you've been reporting on this, at night it's darkness in the Ukrainian capital. Absolutely. That's because in the last few months, Russia has been pounding at Ukraine's energy infrastructure. And here in Kyiv, the situation has become absolutely critical. Uh, just a few days ago, we were told that city authorities were only able to meet 20 percent of the city's energy needs. Since then, they've been able to repair more energy infrastructure. But you have to bear in mind, you know, Kyiv might be far from the front line, but people here are suffering the consequences of the war here in here in Ukraine. Uh, on, with, with, with their daily lives. You know, you have entire neighborhoods uh, that go without power uh, for days on end. Uh, that's because there's a form of energy rationing uh, that's been put in place. So what happens is priority is given to uh, hospitals and businesses, but uh, then other neighborhoods, homes, for example, uh, end up having to go days without power, without electricity. And of course, you have to bear in mind, we're, we're starting to enter, you know, the harshest winter months here in Ukraine. So people don't have heating either. So a critical situation here in Kyiv. And the, the, the problem is that this, the, the people here, you know, a city with more than three million people, no one has any idea when things will get back to normal. Andrew Hillier uh, reporting live from Kyiv. For more